In this review, I will include all the important facts that you need for your upcoming RGCSE chemistry exam. We will first talk about physical and chemical properties that would apply for all metals without exceptions. For chemical properties, metals form cations and form basic oxides. The general physical properties of metals is that they are conductors of heat and electricity. In addition, they are malleable and ductile. Next, we'll talk about reactions of metals. There are three main types of reaction. First is a reaction with water. Here, we're going to divide the reactions into two parts. First is a reaction of metals with cold water. This would only apply for highly reactive metals, such as metals of group 1. In this case, the metal will form metal hydroxide and hydrogen. Less reactive metals require steam to react with. And in this case, they're not going to form metal hydroxide. Instead, they'll form metal oxide and hydrogen. For a metal to react with acid, it must be more reactive than hydrogen. In displacement reactions, metals that are more reactive reduce the less reactive metal. We will now move to the most important part of this topic, which is the extraction of metals. To determine the method of metal extraction, you have to check the reactivity series. If the metal is above carbon in the reactivity series, then the method of extraction is going to be electrolysis. If the metal is below carbon in the reactivity series, such as iron, then the metal is extracted by reduction with carbon. Iron is extracted in the blast furnace. There are four main materials required in the blast furnace. First, it is carbon, which is commonly known as coke. Second is hot air. Hematite, which is the iron ore, and last is limestone or calcium carbonate. Carbon or coke is required as a source of energy because it burns in hot air to form carbon dioxide. Carbon is also required as a reducing agent because it reduces carbon dioxide to form carbon monoxide. Iron oxide in hematite gets reduced to iron by carbon monoxide to form molten iron. Limestone first undergoes thermal decomposition to form calcium oxide. Calcium oxide is required to remove impurities of silicon dioxide and form slag. The last part of this topic talks about alloys. Alloys are mixers that are meant to to make metals harder and reduce their chance of corrosion. There are three types of alloys that you need to be aware of. First, it is steel. Second is brass. And last is bronze. Steel falls into three types. First, it is mild steel, which is required for car bodies. Second is high carbon steel, which is needed for cutting tools. And last is stainless steel, which is used for cutlery. 